Which messaging platform do you use? Do you use WhatsApp? Do you use Signal? Do you use Facebook Messenger? What do you use for your private messages? Maybe iMessage, what do you use? Signal are introducing secure backups. This is because in the past, if you broke or lost your phone, your Signal message history was gone. Your photos, messages, important documents, or anything else would be lost forever. This allows you to store important messages, documents, etc., that you don't want to lose. And if is one of the most common feature requests from people who use Signal. So what they've decided to do now is create this as an opt-in feature because some of us don't want to back up our information to the cloud. The first phase is available in the latest beta release of Android, and then it'll roll out to iOS and desktop in the near future. So again, they are opt-in and are end-to-end -end encrypted. So if you don't want to create a secure backup archive of your signal messages and media, you never have to use this feature, so that's good. If you decide to opt in to use secure backups, you'll be able to securely backup all your text messages and the last 45 days worth of media for free. If you want to go beyond that, you have to pay because there's storage costs involved here, so you pay $1.99 per month. This is the first time they've offered a paid feature because it costs a lot of money to store the data. So as a nonprofit that refuses to collect or sell your data, Signal needs to cover these costs differently than other tech organizations that offer similar products but support themselves by selling ads and monetizing data. At the core of the secure backups is a 64 character recovery key that is generated on your device. That's good, better than say X's end-to-end -end encryption and other options. This key is yours and yours alone. It is never shared with the signal servers. Your recovery key is the only way to unlock your backup when you need it to restore access to your messages. Losing it means losing access to your backup permanently and signal cannot help you recover it. You can generate Generate a new key if you choose. We recommend storing this key securely, writing it down in a notebook or a secure password manager, for example. So this goes along with Signal's mission to collect as close to no data as possible and to make sure that any information that is required to make Signal robust and usable cannot be tied back to the people who depend on Signal. Okay, so you can read more about this on Signal's website. So what do you think about this? Do you use Signal or do you use some other messaging platform? Are you even concerned if your messages are leaked or if engineers at companies such as Meta, Facebook, or X can read your private messages.